keep that energy going for Jackie Webb. Yeah. Yeah. Oh gosh, I love that song. <laughs> hey, you guys, uh, make sure your mics are on, please. I really want to hear all the clapping and the. Yeah. Um, so I just celebrated a birthday recently. Yeah. It was the 28th birthday, which is a weird year. You know, it's it's not too young, but not too old. It reminds me of the month of February, you know, the month with 28 days that we often forget about. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if February is the month that the other months would probably all be secretly making fun of for being too short and cold. But it's exactly like 28. That's exactly how 28 feels. So <laughs> it's feeling my February. So if you haven't done the math yet, I was born in 1993. That year was such a good year. Gave us the best thing in the world. The movie Hoc Hocus Pocus. Uh, <laughs> my birthday was so great this year. I cried a lot. My <laughs> <laughs> my ex uh broke up with me right before but that's okay because it was really sweet of him to give me a little project to do to put my point together which sounds a lot more sad than it actually was um i started dating again which sounds, sounds a lot better than it actually uh actually is <laughs> Um, but, uh, you know, dating is the worst, like Emma was saying, but I have to argue and say, Emma, I think dating in LA is its own particular brand of the worst. <laughs> For example, nowhere else in the United States have I come across single white men who have taken up the hobby of dressing up as Spider-Man. <laughs> the thing that they do it seems like they're just trying to find other ways to fling their stringy white web all over the place <laughs> <laughs> says dating in LA isn't weird as hell or is either in a relationship already or is dating themselves <laughs> dating myself isn't that the most LA thing you've ever heard but <laughs> who here has ever said that before Anybody that's here, some, yeah, some cheers. I know I have, I can admit it. I've definitely said I've dated myself before. Uh, and you know, I thought that that would cease my friends trying to set me up with their friends and everything. But instead, I now get this whole monologue when I say stuff like that. The whole, oh my God, you are just like so brave. You can go to the movies and go out to eat all by yourself. <laughs> proud of you you are so brave so independent <laughs> eating has become a little harder for me since i came out as non-binary uh, within the last year do we have any other people who are non-binary tonight or anyone in the lgbtq community in general if you are make some noise or put your put yourself in the chat if not that's okay too anybody i heard i heard some cheering well Happy Pride! Yeah. So LA will not be hosting a Pride Parade this year, which mm. is what we're telling all of the cis straight people. Um, <laughs> if you're LGBTQ, just talk to me afterward. Um, <laughs> So I know me identifying as non-binary is confusing to some. I mean, look at me, I'm very feminine and I typically present myself this way. Uh, it gets dates all confused, but don't worry. I was confused about my gender identity for 27 years. So we're both living in this confusion together. Okay? <laughs> the plus side of being out is that it weeds out the transphobes. Like this guy I dated recently and told me one day he was like, oh, you know, this is a really big deal. I've never dated anyone non-binary before. It's just something that I'm just really proud of. It's a big step. <laughs> Do you have a medal, a trophy? You'd be surprised how many transphobes there are to weed out in LA. <laughs> 
also hard for me because I carry so much baggage. You never guess this as much as it is because of my shining demeanor and sparkling personality. <laughs> You know, who doesn't try to carry a bunch of baggage and shove it all in like a suitcase to circumvent that $50 fee at the airport, right? I mean, really, we're in the checkout in line at Southwest shoving our water bottles and rearranging shit up until the last minute. <sighs> Recently, though, I've been trying to change my tune a little with the whole baggage situation. So recently I joked on a date, mm, but what do I know about family? Two of my siblings are dead. <laughs> <laughs> After that, I thought that he died, too, because that was the palest I'd ever seen anyone go in my life. And I've seen dead family members. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, you make those kinds of jokes. If I'm making a joke, it's okay to laugh, right? That's why I'm making the joke. Because it's funny, and I'm trying to be cool and casual about weird shit in my life instead of, you know, just trying to carry a lot of baggage around. I'm 28, and I've got to embrace being like February, cold and short with others. <laughs> Why I'm flinging around those bits of baggage instead of shoving it all into that damn suitcase, which, as my friends would say, is like so brave. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Jackie Webb. You can follow me on Instagram at the Jackie Webb. Y'all yeah. give it up one more time for Jackie Ware.